campus of St. Stephen's High School. What? And it'll be the Austin Juniors who'll be on the far side of your screen against the host St. Stephen's Spartans on the near side. Two teams head back. Or head to the net. And exchange good luck wishes. Say hello to my good friend, Mr. Les Clary, back at the KMAC Studios. And uh, Brian Reed, our producer as well. Would you like some help, sir? Okay. okay. No problem. Let's see here. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. Just a little impromptu situation here, folks. We get ready to go. There we go. Again, St. Stephen's on the far side, or the near side of your camera. Austin Jr.'s on the far side. Just double checking players here right now. See if I get a couple of names here real quick. what we had in the uh, third place game. A new player, Jared Phelan in for Austin Juniors, number 88. Lane Martin, who was number 40 yesterday, is now 87 today. So we are good there as well. St. Stevens, coached by Taylor Nutfield, assisted by Theodore Johnson. John Corbelli coaching the Austin Juniors today as we play for the championship here. And now the Dan referee is talking across to some of the fans for some reason. Brian, what'd you do, man? <laughs> Once again, want to thank Glenn Litsky, Kathy Litsky, and all the great folks at Austin Juniors. They are responsible for the broadcast. Coach Tim Moten. Gave us a good visit as well. Coach Moten, the head coach of St. Andrews. As we are ready, championship match, and we are underway. Pass up front. Swing left side for Merrick McHenry. And McHenry with the kill. one nothing as Carson Williams, 84, goes back. Oh, he's going to hand it off to Nathan Meckler, the libero. So Meckler will serve. Attack right side and the kill up front for Showtime. Ian Shimon. This is now 1-1. One, one. Ian Shimon with the kill. Service over. Free ball sent over by the freshman Kellyhan Hefner. Attack left side and that is in. Another kill for Merrick McHenry who's headed to UCLA by the way. Play his college ball. Oh no, they called it out. I apologize. So it's a point for St. Stevens. Two to one. Libero with the serve, JP Lugo. McHenry with the roll shot. 
Nice save there by Wyatt Gill. Pass up front by Meckler. Dump shot dug out by the libero, J.P. Lugo. Free ball sent over. McHenry gets another swat at it and finds the tie on the back row. And we're tied at two now. Again, we play best of three. Coach Leslock letting us know that the official has the folks on the floor. A little safety hazard there. Meantime, the freshman half a great dig by Meckler. Keep it alive. Attack on the slide now. Meckler again, but this time not able to get it. As Griffin Foster gets the kill for St. Stephen's. Back row return, McHenry. Dug out. Free ball sent over by Foster. To the back row. Quick set in the middle. And the kill for Jinsei Kim. Jinsei Kim for St. Stephen's. Gives the Spartans a 4-2 lead. Service by Griffin Foster. Meckler on the serve receive. Attack left side and Lane Martin with the hammer down the sideline for the kill. Austin Jr. is back within one at four to three. And Merrick McHenry to serve. Foster. Attack left side, dug out nicely, but not able to convert is St. Stephens. Another kill, that's Jared Phelan, I believe, over there. Jared Phelan, number 88. They've got an 86, an 87, an 88, and an 84. As that service error hands the ball and the point to St. Stephen's. First service error for either team. And the freshman watch this serve by Callahan Hefner. That one off the tape, Meckler. Phelan goes wide on the kill attempt. Unforced error. This is now six to four, St. Stephens. Hefner, another serve. Dug out by McHenry. Attack right side by Lane Martin. And on the overpass, converting it is Jinsei Kim. Seven to four, St. Stephens. Meckler on the server seat. Tip shot. Kept alive, but that won't do any good. Point St. Stevens. They double now the score of the Austin Juniors, 8 to 4. Hefner continues to serve. The Ballyhooed freshman. Oh, my. What a great serve there. Good attempt. But not able to convert. An ace for. Hefner, as the lead expands down to nine to four. Going high for the kill there, Jared Phelan able to convert. Ends the run for St. Stephens, Junior's back with him for it. Nine to five is Justin Selva, number 59, back to serve. Hefner on the receive. Attack right side, blocked by Martin. Attack right side and in for Lane Martin. As he hits a nice cross court kill to the sidelines and back within three of the Austin Jr. Service over. Back row return, blocked. 
kept alive on the foot of Kim. Tip shot, falls in the middle. McHenry. And just like that, it's nine to seven. Attack right side by Perez. Return. Now the free ball to the Austin Juniors. Feeling goes high, dug out nicely. Back row return, Foster, but that goes out. Griffin Foster with the hitting air. It's out one point, set at 9-8. Set number one of the championship match here. Justin Selva. Probably on the server seat. Back row return. Dug out by McHenry. Attack left side, Phelan. Dug out Hefner. Tip shot by Perez, dug out nicely. Left side swing by Phelan, dug out. Hefner with the set, Perez with the swing. Good rally here by both teams. Back row return uh, will find the back of the gym. McHenry, his fourth kill by our count. And we're tied at nine. Five point run. Selva. Dug out. Hefner. Nice dig. And Selva sends it back over. Quick set in the middle and dunk to the ground. Jensei Kim is having a good first set. His third kill gives this team a 10 to 9 lead. Checking in is Brian Lugo, a sophomore. Back to serve for the home team. Spartans. It's a little bit hot in here. Pass off the server seat. That one off the tape dug out by Martin. Phelan hits it long. Hitting air. Point St. Stephen now 11-9. Service. That one tipped over nicely. Good move there by Wyatt Gill for St. Stephen. Roll shot dug out by Griffin Foster. Gill with the hit and Shimon. Showtime Shimon. With the kill. Twelve nine. Tip shot, finds the middle. Nice job by Jared Phelan with the kill, his third. Brings his team back within two at 12 to 10 as Lane Martin goes back to serve. Oh my, between two players. Confusion in the back row on the serve receive. Ace for Martin. Second ace for the juniors. One is out. Good mid-air decision there by Griffin Foster to let it go. Second service error by Austin Juniors. Wyatt Gill, the center, senior center to serve. Attack coming left side, Phelan. Dug out, and nice job by Shimon to get it back over. Attack right side. Returned on the overpass by Foster. Roll shot finds the middle, kept alive. Oh, good effort there as McHenry made the adjustment in midair on the change of pace roll shot. Once again, it's a one point lead for St. Stephen's at 13 to 12. Jared Phelan to serve. Jump serve. Oh, and problem on the set. It was a good pass, but Wyatt Gill looked like he wasn't sure. Confused or something. As Shimon was standing right next to him. Tied at 13 now.
Bailey jump serve. Quick set in the middle. Shimon with the one hand over. Oh my. Great jumps, great hops by McHenry as he got the perfect angle. He picks up his sixth kill. And the juniors take the lead at 14 13. Jump sir, and that's out. That's the third service error for the juniors. As we're tied at 14, set number one, championship match here. Jesus Perez, the senior to serve. To the back row, dug out by Meckler. And that quick out. That angle there for Carson Williams, and he knew it as soon as he hit it. You could see his reaction on the near side net. St. Stevens retakes the lead at 15 to 14. Set on the hut, and that one in for McHenry. His seventh kill. Tied at 15. Back and forth we go, Mr. Brian Reed. And Nathan Meckler, the libero to serve. Again, this Austin Juniors team, a combination of four Dallas players. I believe it said four San Antonio players. Mike Biesecker, our color man last night with all the great information. Meantime, Hefner hits that one through the front line. Hefner, believe it or not, his first kill. Kellyanne Hefner could be hearing his name a lot in boys volleyball circles. Gives this team a 16-15 lead. Serviced by the libero, J.P. Lugo. McHenry gets up and slams it, torching the tile in the back row. His eighth kill. So think about it. He has eight kills himself, and his team has 16 points, so he's got half of his team points. About to serve the setter, Guillermo Jordan. Lefty sends it over. Oh, that's going to be an overpass and a little Christmas gift there for Justin Selva. Juniors take a 17-16 lead. That one off the tape. Lugo dives at it, but the ball goes over and out. 18-16 now, Juniors. And timeout taken by St. Stevens will take it as well. You're watching the championship match here on the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network. All the way to the bio and all points in between. I saw miles and miles of Texas. All the this is the KMAX Sports Network bringing your teams to you. Hey, have you liked us on Facebook yet? Whoa, 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 whoa. stop right there. Well, why not? Search KMAXSports.com and like us now. This is the K-Max Sports Network. Are the time now? Service by Jordan. Hefner! Meckler with a great dig there. That's a very hard hit. Quick set. A 6.59 block assist there. McHenry and Selva. Nice dig. Three ball sent over by Jordan. A little touch pass there by Hepner. McHenry with the roll shot dug out by Hepner. Now Hepner gets a swing left side, but it's it into the net. Unforced error. And Junior's hit 21st at 20 to 16. I'm Chuck Nakata. He is Brian Reed. Mr. Les Clary, our QA, been with us the entire day. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate all your efforts. Let us know what kind of pizza you had for lunch there. As Hefner, swing blocked in front, kept alive and sent over. 
That was Perez initially with the return, but then the kill makes it 21-16. Guillermo Jordan. Oh, and bad serve received. Ace. No pizza yet? Okay. I think he's saving it for dinner. Jordan, his second ace, is now a 22-16 lead. One timeout left for St. Stephens, by the way. That's going to be close to the net. That's just a bad pass from the back row. Now 23-16, and here's the second timeout. So we'll take it as well. Austin Jr. is two points away from winning the first set in the championship match here on the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network. Thanks to Austin Jr.'s as well. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, throws into the end zone. Snap again, he hits the turf. And, and Devon scoops it up. Cameron Wilkins has it. Corner on the end zone. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. Touchdown. Five. Touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do. And nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. Second to last time out for St. Stevens of the set, unless they come back and tie it and we go to overtime. Service by Guillermo Jordan. Right side swing, nice take by Meckler. It goes over. And an overpass. Easy pickings there for Lane Martin. And we're now at set point for the juniors. 24-16. Service. Off the tape. Dug out by Foster. Foster with the swing. Dug out by Phelan. McHenry and Austin Jr. is going to be called for a net violation. That's the 24-17. So set point number two for the juniors. <laughs> no pizza yet. What a great guy. Coach Les. Service. Overpass. Sent over by Wyatt. And hammered home, and the kill wins the first set 25 17 for the Austin Juniors. Back for set two after this break. You're watching the KMX Sports by Media Network. And again, thanks to Glenn Litsky, Kathy Litsky, and the Austin Juniors for their partnership to bringing these matches here on the KMAX Sports Bike Media Network. At Austin Pets Alive, the mission is to promote and provide the resources, education, and programs needed to eliminate the killing of companion animals. That means more happy pets joining more happy families every single day. In fact, Austin Pets Alive has saved more than 25,000 dogs and cats since 2008. And you can help adopt a new family member, help out with a donation, or roll up your sleeves and volunteer. If you have love, time, or money to spare, and we all have at least one of those, you're needed. Visit AustinPetsAlive.com com to get started. Austin Pets Alive, helping people help pets. We're glad you enjoy the KMAX Sports Broadcast. But did you know that you can purchase a copy of this or any KMAX broadcast for personal use? Whether you're making a highlight video or just want to be able to enjoy this game years in the future, send us a note to info at kmaxsports.com. That's I-N-F-O at kmaxsports.com. Let us know which games you're interested in, and we'll set it up for a small fee. We can even do some editing for you. And the great thing? Any purchase will send a portion of the proceeds to your school. Enjoy the game now and keep it forever. Purchase any broadcast for personal use. Hit us up. Info at kmaxsports.com. Bringing your teams and your highlights to you. We are KMAX Sports. At KMAX Sports, we want to make sure you get the whole game. So we'll take a moment here to clean your speakers. Clean Sonic Delivery. This is KMAX Sports. We hope you're enjoying tonight's broadcast. And while all of us at the KMAX Sports Network are huge football fans, we broadcast more than just football, you know. 
In fact, KMAX Sports proudly broadcasts volleyball, girls and boys basketball, softball, baseball, soccer, lacrosse, and more. For more information on how you can help KMAX Sports broadcast any of those sports, just reach out to chuck at kmaxsports.com or merle at kmaxsports.com or contact that sports booster club directly. KMAX Sports will gladly work with you and the booster clubs to get that team's broadcasts on the air. And if you're a fan of the other team, well, we can broadcast your team schemes too. We realize that, yes, even in Texas, there's more to life than just football. K-Max Sports, bringing your teams to you for 14 years. So set one of the championship match in the books. We get ready for set number two. Two teams this switch side. Austin Juniors right in front of you on the near side. St. Stephen's on the far side. Tell the kind of Brian Reed here, Coach Les Clary back to KMAX Studios. The final of our 11 matches this weekend. And service over. And nice roll shot kept alive. Hefner with the swing. And Callahan Hefner with the kill for St. Stephen's, opening up set number two. Meantime, St. Michael's up two to nothing in their playoff match here this afternoon. Mark Bertrand with the call there. You can catch a replay on KMAX Sports as well. JP Lugo, the libero, serves it over. Dug out, quick set. Oh, and beautiful run there. Jordan with the perfect set for Carson Williams. Wow, that was like a machine right there. Fine-tuned machine. We are tied at one in set number two. Nathan Meckler to serve. A little mistiming on the set there. Unforced error makes it two to one, Austin Juniors. They won the first set 25-17. Meckler, libero to serve again. Pass up front by Lugo. Joust at the net. Ball ends up on the junior side. Swing right side by Merrick McHenry. That's his ninth kill by our count. It's now three to one. Service over. Lugo pass up front. Tip shot. Roll shot back. Play a little back and forth at the net. Roll shot. Dug out by Hefner. Hefner with the left hand dug out nicely. And then Jordan hits it into the net on forced air. Serve back to St. Stevens. It's now 3-2. to two. And, man, I don't know. Brian, but it seems to be getting hotter in here. The weather outside is supposed to get up to the mid-80s. It's been a beautiful day outside all day as Hefner fires a beautiful shot that torches the tile in the back row. His third kill by our count. And we're tied at three. I want to thank again Glenn Litsky, Kathy Litsky, all the great folks at Austin Juniors were responsible for us broadcasting 11 matches in the last two days. Back row return here. Tipped off the front row. Wyatt Gill with the set. And Griffin Foster unfortunately hits it long. Unforced air. Gives Juniors a 4-3 lead. Guillermo Jordan. Back to serve the center. Service over. Hefner! Tell you what, when 22 goes up the swing, percentages are definitely in his favor. Ties the match at four.
Hefner. Oh, that jump serve goes out. First service error for St. Stephens. Gives the juniors a 5-4 lead. Checking in for Libero is Carson Williams. Up oh, now he's coming out. And Meckler back in. Merrick McHenry to serve. Now we get the official transfer. Just had to make sure. Quick set in the middle. Dug out by Jordan. Right side shot, roll shot. Set back over by Gill. Roll shot pushed over, dug out by Lugo. Back row return. And the off speed works for Hefner. Goes up showing power and then flutters it over the net. And we're tied at five in set two. St. Stephen's trying to win this set and force the third and deciding set. Brian Lugo checks in and serves it for the Spartans. Attack left side. And a kill by Jared Phelan. That's his fourth. Juniors go back up by one. And Justin Selva back to serve for the Austin Juniors. Pops it over. Blocked in front, kept alive. Back row return, McHenry, and that's long. Literally going back and forth at the moment as we're tied at six and set two. Roll shot, dug out. Shimon with the hit. Up oh, and net violation on the juniors. And St. Stevens goes up seven to six. Swing from the left side and that goes out. Oh, and they call a net violation on St. Stephen's. Tied at seven. Looked like a hitting error, but net violation called St. Stephen's. Attack on the hut, left side, left-handed hit. And then Lane Martin hits it into the net on forced air. Spartans retake the lead at eight to seven as Jesus Perez back to serve, the senior. And Perez into the net, second service error of the set for the Spartans, ties it at eight. Jared Thielen back to serve for the juniors. Perez unfortunately watched it hit at his feet for an ace. Nine to eight now, juniors. Oh, man, good set, but Hefner on the miss hit. Unforced error gives the juniors a two-point lead at 10 to 8. St. Michael's Crusaders win their, the girls, win their playoff match in three as that one goes off the wall on the green monster. Service error number four for the juniors. J.P. Lugo back to serve the libero for St. Stephen's as checking back in is Henry Dewey, sophomore. To the back row, pass up front, Meckler. Attack on the hut, and that one 
Off the hands of Perez and down for a point. Ten kills now by Merrick McHenry. His team up by two, 11 to nine. Nathan Meckler, the serve. Luga, the pass up front, off the net. Nice job by Griffin Foster, but it's out. 12-9, juniors. Again, St. Stephens needs to win this set to force a third deciding set in this championship match. Service by Meckler. And through the block for the point, Griffin Foster, his second kill, 12 to 10. And Griffin Foster back to serve. Back row return, dug out by Foster. Hefner, dug out by Meckler. Dump shot, Perez keeps it alive. Foster sends it over. Meckler pass the front. And McHenry powers at home for a kill. His 11th kill. Thirteen ten. Guillermo Jordan, the setter. Perez pass up front. That block, Selva and Leighton Martin combination. That's a 87-59 block combo. Second team block for the juniors. They go up 14 to 10. We'll take this break on the KMAX Sports by Media Network. Sound off. Tell us what you think right here on Twitter at KMAX Sports. Hey, have you liked us on Facebook yet? Whoa, 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 stop right there. Well, why not? Search kmaxsports.com and like us now. One, two, three, hit. More coverage of your high school teams. Let's just say we keep it real. And you know this, man. This is the KMAX Sports Network. Back here live. Oh, okay. Just looking at something Merle said in the conference room. Sorry, we communicate. Back here live, they serve out of the timeout. Hefner with the swing. That got by Jordan. Back row return. And that one for the kill. Justin Selva, his second kill, makes it now 15 to 10. Big point out of the timeout there. Jordan with the serve off the tape dug out by Perez. Wow. Big block up front, but it goes out. Hector with the kill. Ends the scoring run for Austin Juniors. It's now 15-11. Nice dig by Meckler diving. Roll shot by McHenry. Dug out. Perez tip shot. Dug out by Jordan. Left hand swing by McHenry goes for the kill. He now got 12 by our count. Makes it 16-11. McHenry back to serve. Jesus Perez. To the back row, passed up front. Beckler, and that's going to go out. Unforced error. Makes it 16 12 now. And Shimon checks in, as does Brian Lugo. 16 to 12 the score. Lugo with the serve. That one dumped by Shimon and the block by Shimon. 
Makes this, cuts the lead to 16-13. Lugo with the serve. Set on the slide and hammered home by Lane Martin. Martin with his fourth kill. Now 17-13 gives his team a four-point lead in the second set of the championship match. Juniors won the first one, 25-17. Jump serve. Hefner. Dug in the back row by McHenry. Jordan the set, roll shot. Oh, and Shimon with the hitting air. Makes it now 18-13. Service over. Perez adjusts on the set and hitting error ensues and it's down 19-13 and timeout. Second timeout for the Spartans as they trail it. 19-13 in the second set. We'll take it to break. Be right back after this on the KMAX Sports by Media Network. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, goes into the end, snap lead. again, he hits the turf, and, and Devon scoops it up, Cameron Wilkins has it. Corner on the end 15, zone. 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. 10, 5, touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do, and nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. This is the K-Max Sports Network. Hey, have you liked us on Facebook yet? Whoa, 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 stop right there. Well, why not? Search KMAXSports.com and like us now. It's a second time out for the Spartans. They trail 19-13. Yeah. Kept there with the pass up front. Dump shot attempt off the tape. And that's kind of the way things have been going now for the Spartans as it's now 2013 Austin Juniors. Juniors now five points away from winning. Shimon blocked up front, kept alive by Griffin. Perez, and Perez will get a kill from the left side. Never say die. Now 2014, as Wyatt Gill back to serve. <laughs> Hefner from the back row, kept alive. Great defense there by the juniors. Oh, and they're gonna call a double. Yep, double tap on the Spartans. Twenty-one to fourteen. Late Martin goes back to serve. Shimon finds the tile in the back row. His third kill. Ian Shimon, the sophomore. Keeping St. Stevens in it. They throw 21-15. And then into the net. Service error. Number three for St. Stephen's. They trail 22-15. That one is in. Behind the defense and inside the line. Jared Phelan with the ace, his second. 23-15. Checking in is Josh Foster, number 20. Checks in for Jesus Perez. Oh, 
23-15. Jump serve coming. Hefner, and that will play off, carry him off the apparatus up on the roof, kept alive. Oh, and that's going to go out. Miss hit there by the juniors. As Henry Dewey checks in for Brian Lugo. JP Lugo back to serve the libero. 23-16. Dump shot, that's going to be a net violation on the juniors. Rally caps on for the hometown Spartans. Now 23-17. Lugo. Attack right side. They got by Josh Foster. Roll shot by Hefner. Right side hit. They got by Foster. And Griffin Foster sends it over. Oh, nice block up front, but kept alive again by the juniors. Good defense here. Roll shot, block. Look at this rally here. Two teams going at it. Oh, and that one goes out. Now all of a sudden, it's 23-18. Still a bit of a hill to climb, but they're getting there. Back row return, and that's out. 23-19. Quick set, blocked in front, kept alive. Overpass, nice save. Cross shot, Lugo with the dig. Hefner, and 23-20, Callahan Hefner, another kill, he's got eight. Hey Glenn, Glenn, it's easy avoiding me, I got him. He wants nothing to do with the media, service over by Lugo. 23-20, rally on for St. Stevens. Back row return. Touched by Gill. Hefner, down the line, and a real estate location, location, location kill. Nine kills now for Hefner. 23-21. Sub in. Carson Williams gonna check in for Carter Swires. Lugo, pass up front, quick set, right side, Lugo, another great rally there, tip shot, oh, and net violation on St. Stephen's, it's now set at match point, what a great rally there by the Spartans, let's see if they can continue it on set point, and match point is Guillermo Jordan, the center to serve, Nope, I'm sorry, it's actually Nathan Meckler to serve. Luga, the pass up front. Set left side, and Hefter drills it. Ten kills for him, 24-22. As Griffin Foster back to serve. Rotation there by the juniors at 24, 23. They have come all the way back, wow. But they gotta get this one. Foster the serve. Pass up front, set left side, oh! And McHenry ends the dream, but what a great run and great rally, 25. 17, 25, 23, the final. We'll take this break, come back. Quick post game. 
on the KMAX Sports Bite Media Network. This is the KMAX Sports Network. And this is what we do. Looking left, throws into the end zone. Bad snap again, he hits the turf. And Devon scoops it up, Cameron Wilkins has it. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Let us broadcast your team. Send an email to Merle at KMAXSports.com or Chuck at KMAXSports.com to find out how. Side, he's got blockers in front of him. Touchdown. Touchdown. Five. Touchdown. Yes, sir. It's what we do. And nobody does it better. We are KMAX Sports. From West Texas all the way to the bio and all points in between. I saw miles and miles of Texas. All the this is the KMAX Sports Network, the bringing your teams to you. Hey, have you liked us on Facebook yet? Whoa, 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 stop right there. Well, why not? Search KMAXSports.com and like us now. Chuck, what kind of? Okay. Yep. As we are now joined by John Corbelli, who uh, took over as, uh, I just couldn't get Glenn Liske to, to talk to me. <laughs> He's a shy guy. Yeah, he's the he's guy. He's so important, but he's a shy guy. He is. You know? He is. Likes to stay behind the scenes, but he's the guy that sets up a lot, does a lot of work for volleyball, a lot yep. of good stuff. Oh, absolutely. And the reason we're on the air uh, with these matches, 11 matches in two days, all brought to you by Austin Juniors. What a great program. I mean, you really, literally, if you know anything about volleyball in the state of Texas, all you have to say is Austin Juniors, and just a lot of great things come to mind. It is. It's a great program. I um uh, as, as a college coach, I recruited a lot of girls out of there. It's great that they have boys and girls going, um, you know, and it's a nice collection of guys that I got. So uh, I've enjoyed working with them and, and uh, always admired the work Austin Juniors does and uh, a lot of the clubs in Texas. Yep, Glenn Litsky, Kathy Litsky, and everybody at Austin Juniors. Did a great job. Real quick, talk about your team and the and the championship match here today. My team, uh, for some of these guys, it's the first time I've met them this week. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's it, success. Yeah, it, it's a it's a it's an all star group, obviously. So um, we have a little bit of an advantage over a, a school team, but some right. of the school teams here did an excellent job. It was a, a neat opportunity for the guys. It's. Uh, um, you know, especially for the guys in public school who don't get a chance to do this. So right. um, it's great. I'd like to see UIL let these guys play some more, but uh, it was a great experience and great uh, opportunity that uh, um, St. Stephen's asked us to come down and uh, get participate. I know we were filling in for a couple of teams, but uh, it helped, uh, helped the tournament go and give everybody uh, a chance to play. And that's number one for me for getting the boys to play. Yeah, great competition all the way around. Everybody got some really good swings, if you will. Everybody yeah. got some great competition. Uh, and, of course, thanks to John McCain and the, the entire staff here at uh, St. Stephen's for hosting such a wonderful tournament. Yes, it was, again, great opportunity. Um, you know, I, I'm a, coming from the women's game. I don't get to see a lot of boys volleyball, but uh, it's nice to see that it's uh, pretty healthy here in Texas. A lot of talented kids, a lot of young kids learning to play. And uh, opportunities like this are, are very valuable to those yep. guys for growing. But thank John, you very much. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. So uh, St. Stevens wins it in straight sets, 25-17, 25-23. want to thank Mr. Brian Reed for helping us out. Very much appreciated, sir. He was here for all but the first match. Merle Bertrand, who handled the other broadcast. And uh, Coach Les, Coach Les Clary, very much thank you, sir, for being with us the entire day as we broadcast six matches today. So everybody at KMAX Sports, Moral Bertrand, our uh, KMAX Sports Director, Christina Weber, Head of Communications and Social Media, Suna Benkat, our Tech Director, Tim Cox, Connie Collier, Rosemary DeSalvo, and everybody at Connect Town, of course, the Vite folks over in Houston. We say good afternoon, bid you adieu, and hope you have a good weekend as we sign off from St. Stephen's High School in South Austin, Texas.